Welcome to Storytime with Sugar. Today we're reading Max and Ruby's Preschool Pranks. Sit down, everybody, said Max's sister, Miss Ruby. It's time for school. Curly Shirley, Mr. and Mrs. Quack, Rapunzel, Tidy Tarantula, Ear Splitter Space Cadet, Tooth Fairy, Pinocchio, Walkie Talkie Teddy, and the Can't Sit Up Slug sat politely in their seats. They were ready to learn. Max was not ready to learn. Max was wearing his King Kong gorilla suit. Gorilla suits are not allowed in school, Max, said Miss Ruby. Here's the rule book, Max, said Miss Ruby. Rule number one is do what the teacher says. But Max's gorilla suit was going nowhere in a hurry. Miss Ruby's telephone rang. Ring, ring. It was Miss Louise, the school principal. I have a new student for you, Miss Ruby, said Miss Louise. Her name is Lily. Welcome, Lily, said Miss Ruby. I'm your teacher, Miss Ruby. You may sit down. That gorilla costume is not allowed in the school, Miss Ruby, said Miss Louise. It's a fire hazard. Rule number two, no wearing fire hazards. In Lily's backpack was her volcano kit. Lily showed it to Max. Wow, said Max. Boom. Miss Ruby says, the rule book says no volcanoes. Miss Louise had to put the volcano kit way up high. Miss Ruby stuffed the gorilla suit under the sofa, but Max saw the gorilla toes and the gorilla fingertips peeking out. Max put one gorilla foot on. Miss Ruby didn't notice. He wrote outer space alphabet letters on the board. Now we'll do the numbers, announced Miss Louise. Miss Ruby and Miss Louise were busy with numbers one through 10. They did not know that Lily, Lily wrote 1,487 on the board. Who can name the shapes, asked Miss Ruby. Pizza, said Lily. Cookie, said Max. Waffle, said Lily. It was art time. Max found the gorilla gloves under the sofa. He put one on, but the gorilla gloves were not made to color in coloring books. Max put on the other gorilla glove. Time for friendly circles, said Miss Louise. Let's all hold hands. Max, said Miss Ruby, nobody, not even the tidy tarantula wants to hold a gorilla hand. All of a sudden, it was nap time. Everyone had to be under their blankets with their eyes closed. Miss Ruby and Miss Louise sang the sleepy time song. Just then, the can't sit up slug fell out of bed. Oh no, said Miss Ruby, we'll have to take the slug to the school nurse. The slug needs bandages, said Miss Ruby. I'll be the nurse, said Miss Louise. It's an emergency, said Miss Ruby. Miss Louise and Miss Ruby hunt, bundled the slug out of the classroom. Volcano time, shouted Lily to Max. Boom, said Max. Lily helped Max out of his gorilla suit. She opened the volcano kit. Lily and Max had no trouble understanding the directions. They ran double time to the kitchen. First, we need baking soda, said Lily. Now the extra, said Lily. Paprika, said Max. Ketchup, sprinkles, and marmalade, said Lily. Pasta alphabet soup, said Max. Fizzy cola, suggested Lily. Miss Louise and Miss Ruby came back with a can't sit up slug. He's all better now, said Miss Ruby. Time to work on our leaf collection, said Miss Louise. But it was not leaf collection time. It was volcano time. Lily added the fizzy cola to the paprika alphabet soup sprinkles, ketchup, and marmalade inside the volcano secret chambers. Last, they put in the vinegar. The bubbles hissed and seethed. The volcano exploded perfectly. Boom, said Max. School's out, said Miss Ruby. Slugs down again, said Miss Louise. 